Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're not actually mining anything. You're just looking at walls and figuring shit out. That's okay. not good enough for me. Mining is hard. Hot one. God Hot damn. One. So, with your critical mining, it appears that they're employing mining techniques of around the 1860s. A lot of pickaxe work and stuff in here, although there was some blasting and stuff, obviously. Blah. So they use nitro. Cool. As well, yes. TNT. Mm. So you guys continue on. There's there's other minor tunnels that you check out and have nothing interesting in at all. But eventually you get up to where the kind of faint light is coming from, and it appears that it's some sort of entrance to the mine, but it's been boarded up from the outside. You're thinking the boards look old and shitty. They look like they've been also kicked apart by somebody strong and angry. There's a howling wind on the other side. Is it still cold? Uh, it appears that the snow on the other side goes up to about your balls. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. It looks like it's a winter wonderland from hell out there. Uh, the wind howls around. It's... Yeah, it, it heavy snow, uh, pine trees, shit like that. Ooh, give me geography at half or negative 30 percent. Fumble, Russ, you are in Acapulco. Okay. <laughs> cool. I mean, I'm geography, getting my, I'm getting myself a my tie. Nice. Oh, you made it at half or negative 30? Oh, no, no, I didn't. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. I was looking at Glenn's when I said no. Yeah, I did with my 11. You are uh, apparently a uh, heavy winter in northern Canada, far north Canada, near the Arctic Circle, Canada. According to your guess, I mean, you'd have to see stars and actually have some astronomy skill, then plot carefully on pieces of paper, possibly using one of those ding, ding, ding things, all that shit, and then you could be more sure. But from what you're seeing from the vegetation and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, Acapulco! <laughs> right, so he's I got points in box sledding. I filled the other two in on my... Anybody got points in dog sledding? Nope. I think I might. I do. do you have dogs? I have a few. Or a sled? <laughs> oh, you gave, me a, uh, you gave me a card. Um, Anti-greed. Play immediately. All greed cards are discarded. Immediately. Anybody else have green? Didn't Sorry. have one. Perfect. Yeah, it, it shows uh, one of the men is frozen to death, and it shows the other man hooked up to him by his stuff and her standing on the frozen one going, <laughs> Mush! Mush! <laughs> brutal, brutal women, yes. That's the theme of this place, and it's gotten to her quickly. Well, we can make a sled out of the lumber here. Let's take this thing down. No dogs. Oh, yeah, there'll be dogs. We'll find dogs. We'll find we wolves. I've got a card for that. We'll find him. So uh, we're, it's starting starting to snow just a wee bit. Uh, does anybody have meteorology skill? Sure, I learned. Go for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Acapulco weather, he says. Meteorology. If she has a 20 learn, that would be uh, really cool. I right? do not. Let's yeah. right in. <laughs> nope. Is that a write-in, I'm guessing? Can you imagine the game system where meteorology is not a write-in? What kind of game do you run? You have to know the weather. You have to be able to forecast it ahead of time in order to survive in this game. On page 308 of the character sheet, you'll find right. meteorology just right there. Next to underwater basket weaving. Not a writing skill. Oh, being able to why. read the weather is pretty darn helpful. It doesn't hurt. Does anybody have Arctic survival? Not just survival uh, like no. woods or something, but like Arctic. Well, luckily, I have desert survival, and since we're in Acapulco, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tundra is kind of like a desert. Nope. Didn't make it. Made it at learn. We're all going to die, he says. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you're, uh, 
you're thinking that uh, snowshoes, if you were to fashion some of those up, that would probably save you a lot of stress because um, the the rubber boots and shit that you got from the hardware store, mm, those are good if the water is less high than the boot. Um, but the snow is higher than your balls. So, yeah. Um of course, that you need either wood crafting or jury rig in order to whip up some quick snowshoes, yeah, or if you want to roll, or board. if you want to roll your uh, uh, survival Arctic again, then I'd let you do that instead. But you've already got check in that, so he's going for something else. Or you can instruct somebody else to whip you up some snowshoes and then laugh at them when it doesn't work out. I will attempt to cast my. Work wood spell. He hits a fumble, his head just explodes, his lifeless body <laughs> falls over, and you guys look at him go, We can ride him down the hill. Fail. 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 Cool. Fail. Now you're you're done. So is anybody else do you want to instruct anybody uh, else to do that? That was that he's done when he's at a magic point, Slogan. To get oh, that was the spell. Yeah. Oh. Oh, That's you're funny. just trying to work wood spell. Got it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you were trying to craft to get a, a bonus continue, to craft. Continue on until you are out of magic points. I'm good with that. Made it. Success. Shit. All right. So that gives you what? Uh, five or ten? Ten. Cool. Then carpentry. Now. Excellent. Okay. He uh, has like little stick people that he instructs you guys to strap on the bottom of your feet. I'll try and jury rig something. Go for it. Nope. It's all up to Sheila to save you guys from being uh, really wet footed. Okay. Rolling jury rig? Mm hmm. Yeah, unless you have. No. Fumble. Fumble. Cool. She, uh, you, you not, guys, I'm sorry. That, that's not necessarily 95 is a fumble for you, Sheila. Mm. You might have 60 in jury rig, so I don't know. I do not, but thank oh. you <laughs> for trying. No problem. She gives you guys each snowshoes, and pretty much every step your foot can, sinks in, and the snowshoes are actually hindering you, but you know, they're snowshoes, so you're wearing them, and it shows you going like. 20% slower, and you guys are like, oh, we're so miserable. And she's like, yay. So, yeah. Can I take another shot at jury rig, or are we just screwed up this one? No, you're, you're done. So, uh, I was just saying, you're, you're going to have wet feet and wet balls and like it. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, you don't see, like, a town right outside of the old abandoned mine for whatever reason. And the snow, since you guys have been working hard, has begun falling a little bit harder. This is what in Canada they call a bit of weather. And anywhere else would call a fucking death blizzard is starting. And no telling how long it could go on. Since it's Canada, it could go on for the rest of the year yeah. or longer. Huh. Well, what do you guys like do? That end. Navigation. <laughs> uh, navigation would help if you knew where you were going. You Any smoke help. on the horizon? No, no. In fact, it's uh, it's uh, pretty much just gray, although it's a little darker gray. Uh, but yeah, there's it's trees, lots of trees. Rock, would your goggles help in any manner? <laughs> Can I try essence? Like, do I sense another gate somewhere? No. <laughs> Your essence is not that cool. Is, that'd be awesome if it was. You would be carried around by various parties just to find the gates. They'd be like, we need to get Sheila to game with us so we can find the gate because we can't find it. Or, mount, her, <laughs> mount her on this pedestal, make sure it's free stuff, and then just, beep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Can we find it with the glasses, though, Logan? Uh, do you want to put it on burner charge? Yeah. You can't find it with the glasses. Mark off the charge. So, <laughs> yeah, sure. It's a good thought. Sure. Great. Uh, yeah, you're not sure. Pretty much just 
I mean, you go exploring. You've got anything weird around here? Uh, no, it looks like just typical pine trees with an ass load of snow and more getting ready to come down or coming down. Is there any high ground? You have the high ground right now. If Darth Vader came to you, you would have the high ground, Obi Wan. Okay. Even from up here, we can't see shit. Yeah. Now, although if you wanted to try to get somebody else, because you know better than to try to climb a pine tree, to climb a fucking uh, or evergreen tree, because climbing an evergreen tree is a bitch. Uh, if you wanted to make somebody else climb one, just so you could laugh at them. That's great. But yeah, you don't have amazing amount of high ground. You're up like 20 feet higher than other grounds you can see, but it's still not bad. Oh. What would that climbing. be? Climbing at full or climbing at negative 30? Climbing an evergreen tree is a lot easier if you don't give a shit about the tree. So you can chop off branches and make like a ladder. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> If you don't mind spending a lot of time and getting covered with sap, <laughs> and chopping off a bunch of branches and just pretty much saying fuck you to a tree. Yes, I agree. It's it's not bad. There's always a branch somewhere for you to grab and twist off. But in, as a youth, I climbed too many fucking evergreen trees. Why are you covered in sap again? I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, that, that sap is quite quite potent too it's really oh, yeah. any smell I'll stay with you until you're an adult even now i've got some on my hand so. yeah yeah i know i know <laughs> been there done that damn I mean, I'm, I'm 50 something i got sap on my hands from my head. it's horrible, it's horrible. <laughs> so uh what do you guys want to do uh the right. rock i hate oh. Roll I, <laughs> oh, I was telling we you get the point. Point. oh <laughs> Yeah, you're thinking it won't really help, but it might help. You might be able to see something through the curtain of ever-increasing snow if you were to get up there fast enough. But if you're taking time to cut off a bunch of branches and stuff, this will slow you down significantly. Can we parkour up the tree? Not well. No, not well. This is, this is kind of out of the realm. I've watched hundreds of hours of parkour. This is definitely not in the realm of parkour. But you mean there is a... Down the tree. Maybe. No. maybe There's a it. challenge. If, if there were two walls next to the tree, we could bounce from wall to wall yeah. up, up the tree. But... Yeah. I, I mean, although I, I, I agree that parkour was originally made in the jungles of Vietnam, is what I heard or read or saw or some shit by some guy who really didn't want to get killed by the BC. But that aside, now you're fucked. Who wants to go up the tree like a monkey? Rock, uh, try not to look at Hercule. I don't know the whole relationship <laughs> here, but are you supposed to be putting those stones somewhere? Uh, Maybe yeah. not. I just... in, in, different, in different areas. I, I, I say thank, thank you. Uh, I put a crystal down. It, you said on top of the snow. <laughs> I didn't look at it. What do I call this zone, Logan, so I can put it as a reference? Uh, uh, wait until you find out more about it, and then we'll give you a reference. Just put a line after it for now. You can fill it in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it Snow Zone for now. Or you can call it Northern Canada Frozen Hell. That's another good <laughs> reference. It's a little long. I'm going to go with Snow Zone. Okay. All right. Well, um, hang on to my glasses. I'm pretty good at climbing. I right, hold on yeah. to the glasses. Give me a climb roll. Lower is better. You are not at full for this. At full, I will cover you in sap. All right, that's full. All right, you're covered in sap. You're all scratched up. You've taken one hit point of various miscellaneous uh, branches to the face and shit. You've gotten kind of near the top. Give me a spot roll at half or negative 30 as you just cling to the fucking swaying top quarter. It's all worth it. You see, it looks like you can't tell what it is from here, but it's fucking wooden structures of some sort. It's something man-made because there's hard angles. But through the curtain of snow, you can't tell what it, it could be a it could be a bunch of tanks parked side by side for all you know. Honestly, you have no clue. But you see things you don't see in nature. You now know the exact direction and can point out so that everybody on the ground goes, 
and then they can do navigation rolls once they're on moving. Because if they fail navigation rolls while they're moving, then science has proven you curve because one leg is slightly shorter than the other, or humans are just fucking into going back to where they came from. I don't know. Um, are, there, are there any points of reference to guess how many kilometers away it is? You're going to guess, well, you know for a fact it's less than 10 because that's about horizon. So maybe five or six kilometers. Enough that if you fail the navigation, you are sure to be lost, freeze, and die. You should okay. get there by about nightfall unless you get lost, freeze, and die, which I, will happen in that order. Okay. I, I come back down the tree carefully. Um slow I don't, I don't want to climb roll you're covered in sap already your life is hell you're you smell like uh fucking one of those little pine trees you hang in the cars <laughs> just hang me in a window of a giant car yeah <laughs> got it <laughs> well i smell like shit but i found the settlement that way Boom. all right uh here's your goggles back thank you thank i you try not to touch your sap yeah. It shows him take them and he tries to put it in his pocket. He takes his hand out. They're still on his hand. He's like <laughs> Um, actually, point of interest, does Hercule also have sap all over him? Or do you it get, looks like, like it looks like he tried to give a pine tree a blow job? <laughs> okay, because he like magically deals with every situation. I was wondering if he magically dealt with that. He may have given the pine tree a blowjob while you're going up. There's no telling what that fucking perverted horse is doing. That's that's just so twisted that, that my dick is in there and it can give blowjobs. That's just weird. It's like docking, but in a new age of magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Docking. She knows what docking is. That's not right. So... <laughs> So anyway, I'm gonna be over here for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't know what docking is, I do not suggest googling it. You have to have a foreskin. I don't suggest listening to him either. So my question, <laughs> my question is: Let's navigate. <laughs> yes, who's doing the primary, and do you want support from the others? I am She's pretty. pretty I'm pretty good. But I won't say no to support. Ooh. I have a unless if you stink, then I say no. I've I've got land at at Learn, and I I I all oh, I you, go, was you go over there. You go over up, there. So. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know anything about land navigation. It's okay. all up to now. Did we want to try and try again on the snowshoes first tomorrow or? Later on. Oh, you want to do? You want to wait, wait and freeze to death? Yeah. You want to wait and freeze to death in the meantime because you're thinking sleeping out here is not a good thing. Sleeping in the cave would be like saying, "Logan, is this plugged-in uh, industrial freezer a good place to sleep?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, that'd be like go all the way back to Burlington." Oh yeah, if you don't mind the obstacle course of death, you could definitely get a good night's sleep among the corpses and shit. Sleep is going to be measurable, I think. Let's just go. I'm going to throw a card. Ooh. Skill plus 10. Oh, you know this is just going to cost you pause. I'm going to, I'm going to try. Try to be go clever. And no, no, be... no, 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 no. It's okay. I'm just, I'm just being pessimistic again. Oh, oh nice. I got it. No problem. She crushes it. She crushes it. Nice. She takes you there. No problem. Hold on a second. Let me find... Something special. As you get closer to the place, a couple of interesting points come up. First off, uh, the they have their own heads on top of spikes. Yeah. It reminds you a lot of home. And second, there's no lights or anything like that on in the settlement at all. No fires, no signs of habitation. Buildings look abandoned. But there are heads on spikes. And most of the heads on spikes seem to be women. Violent or women. Possibly violent women. Hold on, I'm just slowly... Sorry for this. I'm slowly dragging you over because I didn't know anybody would be coming here. 
Oh, people hate this zone because it's like, if you don't make your rolls, you're going to freeze to death and die. There's no, like, I want to <laughs> save against death. It's called, fuck you, you die. This uh, looks good. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> there you go. And, uh, like, around the old church area or church-like building, uh, those things there are heads on spikes. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, also, anything that is browned out is uh, looks like it used to be a building, and then somebody said, "I want to burn this fucker down." <laughs> There's a barber shop. Maybe it's a Clemps. Ooh! It appears to you after walking for uh, probably about three hours or so through fucking amazingly deep snow. I mean, because it's not walking. I mean, I Logan can walk five kilometers, uh, you know, in, in an hour, you know, at a slow, sedate pace of a fat old man. It took you multiple hours because you weren't really walking it. You were climbing through this deep shit, you know. Uh, so it was, even with snowshoes on, it's pretty fucking horrible. If you had working snowshoes, it'd still be pretty horrible, although you might be using a lot less calories, but as it is, you guys are fucking exhausted by the time you reach the remains of the town. Do you want con rolls? Uh, if you want to give me an endurance roll to see what kind of condition you're in when you get there, you can, but, you know, even if yeah. you fail, you're still there. No problem. Yeah, you, you need somebody else to take care of you. Like Glenn. Glenn will take care of you. Crit. Glenn might take care of everybody. How how is uh, Dana doing on her <laughs> endurance roll? I'm doing great. The Not rock as good as a, Glenn, but the rock is a big pussy. You're thinking. So there you go. Well, I had to climb that tree first. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He is he is also partially water resistant on his front because it looks like he's been molesting a sap tree. Ah. Uh. Does Hercule have little sun snowshoes on? No, no, he has no feet. He's got his. <laughs> Remember? Does so, he have on a little Laplander hat with the tassels? Yes, take a card. <laughs> he does. Yes, we're totally going with that. So, um, oh, Scott, could you move your mic just a bit away from your mouth and nose hole? Pretty much your. Spatial area. No, anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> right. Thank you. Uh, where, where, which building would you guys like to explore? In the, uh, just imagine like uh, a, a place that looks like it's been abandoned for months or possibly years. Snow just piled up high against uh, one side of all the uh, different buildings and shit. There's no tracks, no. Or paths, or anything. Oh um, God, no! Which side are we coming in from? You are coming in uh, near the uh, Grand Hotel Sheriff's Office area, number ten on the leftish side. Yes. Okay. From south of that. Well, let's look at the Grand Hotel. No problem. It appears to be a, a pretty nice place. Uh, if Aside from being abandoned for an unknown period of time, and I want string cheese, and also uh, <laughs> it looks like uh, there's various bullet holes here and there. Like uh, somebody was hiding around a corner, and somebody else said, "Shoot, shoot, 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 shoot." <laughs> okay. And hit the building a lot. Let's look inside. No problem. It's uh, aside from being really spooky and shit, it, it's pretty solid. Uh, all these buildings seem to have been made pretty tight. Like we have to survive winter in fucking Canada. Yeah. Uh, there's fireplaces. There's even old wood and shit like that that can be burned. Um, pretty much, if you if you want to rest, and it looks like the rock may die if he doesn't get to rest soon. Um, yeah, it, it looks like this would be a good place to 
hole up for a while, possibly build a fire to signal any kind of monsters or whatever did this to the settlement to, as to your location so they can come in and kill and eat you in the middle of the night. Uh, it's got shutters on the windows so you can't see what's outside because they don't have a lot of glass like any. Like, glass is expensive. Who the fuck is going to do that? So they have shutters and they have, like, the flu and stuff you can open to let smoke out of the chimney, which you know, might be a good thing if you decide to start a fire. You're feeling super good. You feel like maybe you had cocaine and didn't know it. <laughs> okay. Um, the rock is just laying there near the door going, build a fire so I can <laughs> die and put my fire in my fire. I was thinking I'd practice some spells before we go to sleep. No problem. You're you're thinking first. You need to be made comfortable, and maybe you can get your clothes dry, and hope that the sap that's coating them doesn't light on fire and turn them into a human torch. And you know, maybe get your strength back before you try anything like you know casting spells, just for a comfort thing. I'm not saying you can't lay there on the ground casting spells, but I'm saying that you know you'd really like some fucking TLC right now. You want somebody to hold you just for a while. Hold me. Hold me. Hold uh, I think you has got that. Uh, 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 I'm going to build a fire. Who's a good horse? Get our clothes dry near it. Our kill's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're a good horse. <laughs> He's talking to his cock while you're building a fire and doing all the survival shit. No problem. I. Uh, the matches that you got in the the uh, hardware store are strike here only matches, not strike anywhere matches. Just fucking here only. <laughs> sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I've got my Zippo. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you make you make a fire. Fuck your ancient matches. <laughs> <laughs> I bring out my fucking Elon Musk flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you you quickly build a uh, fire and stuff. Uh, rock begins to steam. Actually, so is there you guys too, because all the fucking snow and shit that fell on you on the way in. So yeah, yeah. Once it's warm enough, I get out of these clothes and put them by the fire, but not so close to the cash fire. Yeah, shows yep. his on the other side of the room. Both viewers are right next to it, and it shows him like. Bring his like a foot closer, they burst in flames. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you guys, you guys get uh, you, you make yourselves comfortable. Uh, you you know eat some of your rations and stuff, and you know you, you're still on your death timer. Except uh, now you're pretty much down to what's in. Uh, does anybody else have a go bag? I have my big old purse of stuff. Yeah, I got a couple of MREs in my pack and some water, but yeah, only you for like you're down to probably two, three days of food or water before you know you begin to starve to death and die in this fucking winter hellhole of doom. But you've got plenty of chopped wood. Uh, you're in a pretty tight shelter, so and you can get water from melting the snow. So you know, aside from food, I mean, unless you like pine, lots and lots of pine trees. <laughs> Does the hotel have a kitchen? Uh, you look around, you find it, the food is either gone or uh, spoiled. There's no canned goods? No. Like no. canned beans? No. Or dried? Um, dried? Uh, no, it looks like that shit was all taken. There's like little bits of it, you know, like just laying on the shelves and stuff, let you know we used to have it. It went away. Like, you know, cruel okay. bad. Do you think? What kind of person eats uh, their own food? Glenn, can I practice my fire spells on your lighter? And that's how the only lighter of the group was broken. Yeah. No, you made it. To death. <laughs> Stick the matches into the fireplace to light them and then extinguish them. It's or just like the... a stick. Yeah. It's just right. put the ancient match in and the fire goes out. He's like, this is shit. <laughs> Okay, uh, I will go with Sheila's stick suggestion. Yeah, that's a really nice. good idea instead of being the only. I find some dead wood up off the ground in a tree and pull it off. And 
I uh, no no you're you're inside of a building now. If All right, I break a chair. Outside, it'd be worse. No, there's there's, there's, there's a pile of firewood. And there's like kindling. Oh, there's kindling. Okay. There's lots, yeah. there's lots of wood. You wood, <laughs> firewood is no longer a concern. Pieces of wood, you've got lots. You don't need to break apart the chair. I mean, you can break apart the chair. <laughs> But you don't have, there's a pile, like somebody said, winter is coming, and they took it seriously, and they said, how much wood can we get in here? And then they brought in several people named Chuck, and they said, how much wood can you fucking put in here? They said, I can chuck it out. 15 cords. There you go. So go ahead. All right. I'm, I'm sure going to make it clear just how easy wood is. Uh, not quite. Oh, Jesus. Ah, fumble duck. Uh. Dude, this is where the lighter would have blown up and been hilarious. So let's see. Oh, perfect. Uh, wrong target slash bystander. You manage to attack a bystander, whichever the GM judges the most likely to fuck the PC, even though you have to shoot through a wall or something. Uh, not casting a damaging spell. So uh, I'm going to say that chambered round goes off, Logan. No, oh, no, it's the GM's choice. Okay. Oh, lighter. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Uh, Scott will now have to fix the lighter because it doesn't want to work for some magically delicious reason. So I'll need a mechanical repair roll as he fucking gives you the stink eye while he's working on his I said, fucking lighter. Don't touch the lighter. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just love that lighter. See, the fumble deck works. <laughs> yeah. At half. Okay. I'm going to try. Um, well, hold on. Let me see how many magic points are just blue three. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try silent moving. He gets up and sneaks around his underwear because he doesn't have any air clothes. Creepy. Fail. Fail. We see you. Bought one crit. Woo. Nice. So four points there. You learn a new spell. Uh, it's the sound tree. Can I try a teach today? Well, first, let's resolve this, because you may have gotten a new spell, as he said. Do you have the next Oh, one? yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm Chris. Uh, no, I do not have the next. I, silent moving, so okay, sound okay. tree. Sound tree. Uh, next is megaphone. Right. Uh, what a fucking spell. Hold on. I'm going to copy it and put it in the thing here. Thanks, Logan. Yep. Here you go. And reading out loud for the viewers at home, megaphone, casting time one round, range self, duration 10 minutes, or till the PC gets tired of being super loud. Two point magic point cost. You save $30 from buying a megaphone. Nice. <laughs> Hooray. You're loud. So that would be a fun one to begin practicing. Could you guys hear me now? <laughs> Can I start practicing it now? Uh, if you feel like it, uh, if you got magic points left, sure. Oh, yeah. uh, hang on. Yeah, I got magic points left. I'm going to give this a shot. Fail. Okay. Fumble. fumble. Excellent. Back to the fumble deck. Thank you. All right. And so much fun. He goes, Rah! and falls over. <laughs> 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 and that is it for me for today on spells. Uh, okay. He was trying to alert any bad guys that are hiding in these runes because you guys haven't explored the runes. Using the megaphone spell is an awesome thing to do now. <laughs> we are in this building. Please come kill us. It shows like a predator. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll try and teach you guys the wood tree. Okay. No teach. For some reason, I imagine Glenn wearing a t-shirt says, got wood? Question mark. Uh, I'm going to try to teach you to the air tree. Did not. And I practice spells. I'll bet the next time a PC has to make a character, they're going to slap 60 in the fucking teach. I'm going to try and teach the uh, the silent moving sound tree spell again. Give Russ some blurred vision. I uh, did. Yeah, you say, good. Did you failed say? Failed teach. <laughs> huh? I tried to teach silent move and it failed. Ah, but you haven't done that today yet, have you? No. This is your first because you get one attempt at teaching period per day. This is this is the first attempt. No worries. Yeah. 
Looks I, like I have blurred vision. Yep. Yeah. Must you resist. Oh, what is it? Will times three? Essence. Essence times three? That's a great way to give somebody a check in Essence, which he That's got. That's a crit in Essence. Nice. He's like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay. Hey, I hey, 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 hey. The lighter. Sorry, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I've removed our tracks successfully. Uh, a crit? Do you have 40 or better? I do not. Damn. Oh. And I don't smell. I don't know about you guys. Okay. I'm try to extinguish smells. this stick. No. For today. No, but not a fumble. So you've got a 40 or better in this spell? Or. Oh, no, I do not. Fumble deck! And you're done casting that spell, and it costs full magic points, and okay. you get the defend only. Whatever you were trying to do has gone horribly wrong. You can only defend and simple or free action on your next round or next action. So you go, and that's it. That's all that <laughs> happened. Not a totally devastating fumble deck so far. Aside from when uh, one of you nearly blew up their own head. Gotta watch out for that. The D10 damage and magic point one is a pretty brutal card. There aren't a lot of really that brutal cards in there, but that one is pretty brutal. It's like a D6 magic points and hit points, but given how fast the PCs heal and the fact you can still roll one magic point, one hit point. Yeah. So, are you guys done with your spell practice? Have you run out of magic points? Are you ready for the monsters yes. to come at night? <laughs> yep. I want to see before I go to sleep. I want to see if there's a sign in book here at the Grand Hotel. Ooh. Wow, you take a card. Uh, <laughs> right. She goes looking for it. Uh, do you have a lantern or something? Or are you using like a glow stick to get around? I mean, I can, I, can I use your flashlight, Glenn? I was going to say, keep track of how many glow sticks you got. They're only good for like a couple hours. Right. Uh, I, although I have bought the military ones in the past, and wow, they're bright, super bright, <laughs> so much. I got banned from using them at a LARP event. Ooh. I was like, oh, I am a wizard. They're like, God damn it. They're like, I love <laughs> these. Here's a dollar for that. It's totally worth it. <laughs> I got, uh, as the card post traumatic stress, play immediately. It says to roll oh. D3 if you've never undergone any stand loss. Have you ever undergone a sand loss? So oh, wait, is that no, just... if you have gone through sand loss, yeah? Yeah. It says, if you've never undergone any sand loss. Discard oh. this card and ignore Okay, discard uh, it and ignore it. For, Otherwise... Oh, for, yeah, you've gone through sand. I'm pretty sure you've yes. lost some sandy at some Yeah, point. I saw some gates today. Yeah, so uh, you roll a D3, fight, flight, freak. All right. And we'll just As you... that creeping down, looking for the fucking book by yourself with a glow stick for company. <laughs> oh, man. We are um, we are definitely... People know we're here. Oh, God, yes. They will oh, yeah. if you start screaming. Oh. Okay, so that'd be like a two. If there's anyone to know. Cool. Uh, like, uh, right. You hear the front door slam. You two <laughs> are up on the uh, more comfortable bed level, which is the second level, and you hear the front door slam shut downstairs. <laughs> what do you Go for it. What does Rock do? Castro pistol. Stand <laughs> <laughs> up. Okay, and Dan? I mean, just in general, I'm not breaking down the combat rounds right yet. What do you guys do? Dana? No answer. Apparently, she's been taken. Brock, was that Dana? I have no idea. Let's go downstairs and check this out. Downstairs? I thought we were downstairs. Didn't you say we were up in the beds? Uh, yeah, you're up in the comfortable part with the fireplace, lots of wood, stuff oh. like that. And he's okay. like, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> go downstairs. You guys head downstairs. She's apparently disappeared or been taken. 
I go stand in the door dramatically. Right. Give me a spot hidden roll as you uh, uh, stand in the door looking out into the darkness. At half. Oh, yeah. You see her, like, hiding behind a tree out there without her cold weather gear on looking at you like... Data, get back here. No! <laughs> Is she okay? She's going to freeze to death. Yeah, well... That's true. I... <laughs> Go in and grab her parka and take it out to her. Right. You calm down by the time he brings you your parka and stuff. So you guys go back in. Wow, that sucked. You're not sure what happened there, but you thought that there were rats coming to get you or something horrible. And... I don't like any of the places we've ever gone to. <laughs> These are all terrible nice places. places. They're terrible. I thought Burley Town would be okay. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I know. I know the Rock expected better from Acapulco. I mean, a lot of people go here on vacations, but he has no idea why. You know, where are the tiki torches? I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. All the well, white supremacists took them. All white supremacists <laughs> have <it>. yeah. <laughs> They bought they out the us. store. Waited until they had enough coupons. There you go. Uh, and soil. So, uh, right, it's, it's really the, the wind howls through the abandoned village, and it's an odd feeling. It's like you're on an alien planet of snow, ice, and cold, and darkness. You are the only people there, and all that is keeping you alive is this fucking lighter that the rock seems intent on destroying. <laughs> uh, you know. Now that I'm... More collected again. I want to oh, look yeah, the book. The book. at the book register. <laughs> no problem. Uh, yeah, you 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 eventually find it. Um, the 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 last uh, signature in it is Alex Kinley. Oh, that and then it says out in parentheses, "I'm drunk" or something like that. Alex's <laughs> signature. I ain't telling you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't sign it. Um, uh, okay. How long ago was the not Alex signature? It's was not this? dated. Actually, uh, uh, the ones dated before then were in uh, November uh, of 1860. One. If only we knew what year it was now. Yeah, yeah, that that does kind of put okay. a damper on it. Well, that's information for later. It's after the gold rush, huh? Well, I mean, it's Canada, so God knows what's going on here. For that, you'd have to talk to Robert. There isn't that's a 1861 zone in uh, Joshua McKay's notes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, it goes back to 1880. Well, it could actually be 1880 now, and nobody's in this place is so unpopular. Nobody's been here for 20 some years. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm really, really, really tired and drained of spell points, so I'm going to sleep. Yeah. And I don't even care about setting watches, so I'm out. It, show, it shows him, like, set down a partially set stopwatch, and he's like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Keep watch. Right. Give me. Uh, so he's going to be up doing the watch and nobody else. Correct? Excellent. Yep. Then yeah, probably. Glenn? Were you thinking of splitting it, Glenn? Well, then I'll wake yeah. Dana up later and. I, I understand. Yeah. Glenn, give me a little power times three. Oh, no. Yes, you're, you hear that all of the time. The scary thing is the air seems to go in here, and it comes out through the horse's mouth. <laughs> I'm not sharing a room. I'm in a different room. That's, this is where the fire is, though. This is like the common room upstairs that has the air. Nope. Nope. 
<laughs> like you go through all the pain in the ass of building your own fire. You're like, no. No, I'll just take a torch. You know, like I'll take a lit thing and bring oh, yeah, it. Oh yeah, but I mean, you got to move the wood for. Do you know how much wood you go through in a night of sleeping? It's a lot of wood. So I'm only gonna to sleep it. half of the night. Oh, I know. <laughs> No, Smurfette. Don't stop, Smurfette. Don't stop. Yeah, I'm not That's saying not it good here. Smurf. Glenn, can I have the sleeping bag? Yep. Can I have your sub-zero um, sleeping bag? I'm sure there's other beds. <laughs> there's plenty of other rooms up here. So, But yeah, you, you get to hear that fucking pervy shit all night. No, I'm, I'm not. Uh, yeah. No way. Uh, yeah. Uh, rock, take a card. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, That's uh, best private. <laughs> Yeah, give me a willpower times three roll, would you? Right, I rolled times four. Right, no worries. It's morning. You're all awake now. Somebody fell asleep from, you know, being really exhausted and shit. <laughs> and, you know, so you didn't get woken up for watch. And having half a night of wood in the fireplace means you are cold <laughs> as fuck right now. You woke up because you're like... Shivering in his fucking sleeping bag, and you're like, he bought the really lightweight ones that he carried without the gym. Again, <laughs> it is. Oh, it sucks ass. Um, hey, Logan, I took it's... damage. So, what's the willpower roll rule on damage heal? Oh, give me a willpower roll. Lower is better. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> what, what What do you want me to fumble at? The fumble value is times three. Uh, or times five. Times five. Times five is in eighty. So. Oh yeah, not a not quite a fumble. Well done. Not quite a fumble. Yeah, I thought you got the fuck you damage. So you regain nothing. You're all you're still wounded. So uh yeah. Um uh yeah, you unfortunately Dana wakes up first. When you go into your room and you see Rock sleeping on his on his back, you see drool coming out of the horse's mouth, and you're hoping it's just drool. I know that I'm waking up stiff from the cold, and I'm happy not investigating what's happening over there. I tried not to look, but your eyes were just drawn to it like fucking, ah, no. I imagine he is also stiff from the cold. Uh, you're not sure because he's still wearing his fucking cock face. <laughs> Apparently he's very close to that horse. Very close. I go find Glenn. <laughs> he's, he's laying over there. You know, Actually, Brown next... asked me if I wanted to be an avatar, and I said, no, I'm not into horses. <laughs> um, yeah, Glenn doesn't realize it yet, but he's currently being spooned uh, by the rock who needed extra warmth, I guess, or the horse made him do it. You're not really sure. It's it, things that happen while people are sleeping. You are wise to have slept in the air room, you think, not in yourself. It is worse shivering uncontrollably. Yes. Yes, it, it is. A no, no. It wasn't I, a fumble. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no. That, your role had nothing <laughs> to do with this. It could have been the horse dragging uh, his entire body by the cock over behind you to spoon. You're not sure. <laughs> it just it's and I'm gonna look out a window. <laughs> you wish there was windows. You go, I mean, they, there's the boarded ones you can open up, but then the cold air will come in. Yeah, that will I'll go wake up. them up though. And I'll go out the door. Be, even a good night's sleep is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The horribleness just continues Get to go. Magic points back. Yes, yes. Uh, although you may decide to lose them all when you discover just how close to your butt the horse is. <laughs> Hoping he wakes up first. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking out the way. I'm going to let them wake up to that scenario without me. They both I'm gonna wake look. up simultaneously and uh, possibly spring apart or something. Uh, but yeah, you open the window, they're awake now. All right, I'm going to make a maneuver roll. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I dodge. Do you want to do a maneuver yeah. also, Scott? Yeah, I want to see I'm, at least one of you roll into the fire. I'm the one that should be dodging here. <laughs> do, you have, do you have less than 70 in maneuver? Tell me you do so. I'll put that you is in not a fumble. God damn it. I was really hoping for a fumble. You get way too close to the fireplace and you're like, ah, hot, oh, bad, no. And he's spasming back and forth. It's like, do I want the flames or do I want to be back next to that? I'll just fucking be indecisive here because this is horrible either way. 
It's like fires of hell, cock horse. Fires Scott, of hell. you're lucky I didn't try to maneuver into you. <laughs> and at that point, while you're laying there spasming, you think you hear <laughs> very faintly, but you're not sure. No, yeah, I get away. Works. The Rock is definitely a homophobe. That's definitely part of his character. Oh, yeah. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. No, it's but just the my horse. horse might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she looks at the same time. I'm giving her a card for that shit. Uh, oh, God. I'm not gay. It's my gay horse that keeps doing this to me. I'm sorry, mister, but I didn't mean to slip and fall up your... Anyway. So oh, my God. On. The latency is unbelievable. Uh. So... All right, let's explore the town. Let's explore this crap town. <laughs> yep. No Gears problem. right out. What? Gears right out. Is the gear the dry? Gears right out. Everything is fine, aside from how you woke up and discovering <laughs> that Dana is possibly the wisest person here. Other than that little hiccup in your schedule and the, the horse drool, is it horse drool? You're not sure that's all over the floor. Other than that, everything's fine. You guys get dressed back up. You're in your warm weather gear. For some reason, Glenn's fucking fingers keep brushing his pistol butt, and he seems to be <laughs> keeping an eye on that fucking horse for some reason. Um, <laughs> not sure, but you hope he doesn't shoot your cock off. You really, you're getting, you're starting to, because you're thinking it's not something he's consciously doing, but. You know, he may shoot your cock off. I just wanted to point out it. It's it coming would. right at me. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. To make a long story a little shorter, uh, the uh, one of the interesting things uh, near the dog kennels, you can see the uh, the uh, more heads on stakes and shit going out that direction for some reason. There's no roads and shit. The dotted lines are simply your imagination. Well, in between the buildings, you can tell there may have been a road there, but you'd need like a, uh, uh, some sort of uh, uh, plow, a snow plow to find it. Um, the dog kennels, there are dogs in there. They're all dead. It looks <laughs> like some of them. Puppies. Oh, yeah. And partially eaten by you're guessing wolves that somehow got in here or something. Um, and they're all frozen. Uh, there are dog sleds. Probably the ones that died first got eaten by the other ones. Or that, yes. Um, but there are also uh, uh, lots of dog sleds and stuff. So if you guys had dogs, then you could very easily fail your dog sledding rolls. Um Let's see. The the laundry has uh, give me Mandarin rolls. It has a uh, uh, Mandarin Chinese written uh, uh, above the uh, uh, door. Only we had the Dakota rings. I know. Mm. We're trying if to only, fix that place, kind of. If only you were still able to go to school. Ooh. Oh, some people were really pissed when they discovered school was closed and they don't get a lot of free checks and shit. Sad. Um, there, there is a lot of stuff like, for example, from the saloon and stuff, there's alcohol. There's like Alex Kinley and the woman with no name, perfectly happy to, to live here and stuff like that. Um, let's see, uh, other interesting things. No, there's, there's nothing really edible. There's like alcohol. Uh, there's various old West type equipment and shit like that here and there. Uh, there's no uh, weapons, although there you find like some extra uh, holsters and shit like that, uh, some extra cowboy hats, various clothing and stuff, cold weather clothing, uh, stuff like that. So, I mean, aside from the food, and eventually you'll need to chop more wood. There's plenty of trees, though. Uh, other than that kind of stuff, yeah, you can probably survive here for however long, but other than that, you're kind of fucked. And the worst thing is, you remember when you came here, you left all those tracks? Apparently it snowed hard again last night. So uh, the only hope you would have of getting back to once you came is Dana. 
because she's apparently the only one who can find shit that she's been to back and forth through the forest and stuff. Mm -hmm. So in the town, that seems to be it.